All right, this lesson is going to be a very short lesson on the parts of a flower. Every once in a while they ask questions about this on the tax test, so I want to take a second and show you the parts of a flower. It's not very difficult. Um, a flower, all flowers have these same basic parts. You have the pistil, and this is the female part of the flower. It's really long. Okay, that has the stigma, the style, and the ovary. All of this right here in the middle is the female part of the flower. You'll notice that it says the ovary is here. The ovule is here in the very middle. That can be what's fertilized. And the receptacle is just where it sits in the bottom. The male part of the flower is called the stamen. You have the filament, which are these long things coming up. And then the anther. This is where you'll have pollen. And the next time you look at a flower, you'll notice a lot more uh, about it. The really long ones are the male part. Now what happens is, as many of us have learned, that you will have insects or bees that come along during the spring, and they will actually move pollen from one plant to another. What actually happens is that when they crawl in to get the nectar out, the pollen from the anther will actually stick to them, and they fly to another flower. And as they crawl around there, what will happen is they'll drop off that pollen. And what will happen is that pollen will come in the very top of the stigma here, and it can work its way down this tube. And when it gets all the way to the ovule or the ovary, it can actually be fertilized. Now, flowers, we look at flowers for the pretty parts of the petals that are on them, and that's what makes us look at them a lot. And they smell good as well. But it is the male and the female parts that produce um, the seeds that will be made that can, or, can be used in order to make more flowers. And so um, what I'm going to do is show you a real life example of this. What happens is when um, in certain flowers, let's say that this is a flower on an apple tree. In the spring, flowers come out all over the tree. And as these flowers open, you can, you'll see the male part and you'll see the female part in the middle of the flower. It may not be as tall as it's drawn here, but you can see it pretty easily. And so the insects fly from flower to flower, or the wind can do it as well. And what will happen is some of the pollen can get into this and go down the pistil, and it'll go all the way down and fertilize here. Now again, remember, this is going to be an, a blossom on an apple tree. And what will happen is over time, if this one has been fertilized, you'll eventually get an apple. And what happens is all the petal, these purple things drawn on this picture, they'll fall off. And this right here is the attachment to the tree. Okay, so the flower starts to die, but it has been fertilized in the middle. And so the flowers fall off, and eventually, here's what happens. You end up having an apple that is formed. And in this case, we'll take the apple like this. Here's the attachment to the tree where the flower was attached and actually if you take and look on the opposite side of any apple, I'll zoom in just a little bit if I can, you can actually see what's left of the flower. This is where the flower petals would have been attached. So they would have been up like this and they've fallen off. The apple itself that has formed, that where does that come from? Well, let me go back to the picture real quick. If you look at this picture, what has actually happened is right in the center where the ovary is, it starts to swell. And as that swells up, it becomes the fruit that is left where the flower used to be. Now, the seeds are located inside of the apple. We've seen that before. But what is literally happening is, if I put the, the apple here again one more time for you, you can actually see where the flower was. And you can actually, with your fingernails, you can pull it back. And actually, in some apples, you can actually see what's left of the male and female parts of the flower. And so this, the, the pulpy part, the meat of the apple that we eat, is actually the swollen ovary of the flower. If it had not been fertilized, you would have never had the apple. And you know what? It's the part of the apple that you eat. It's the good part. So those are the parts 
of a flower. 